With the development of human civilization, fewer and fewer species of animals pose a direct threat to humans. But despite the fact that many of us are used to consider the majority of representatives of the animal world harmless and frightened, there are exceptions. Some animals are not afraid of anyone and nothing, and now you will see. Before starting this video, I remind you that you can subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on new videos. With you now I know, and today we will tell you about the most fearless animals in the world, let's go. Tasmanian Devils at night on Tasmania's Australian island, the neighborhood shouts strangely and frighteningly as Tasmanian devils communicate with each other. Night Raptors, their unusual name they received back in the days of the first settlers, who nicknamed the beast Diablo, for their black fur, a large mouth with sharp fangs, terrible night screams, aggressive behavior. Tasmanian devils are similar in size to small dogs. Their paws soles are flat as a bear's, and their pointed face resembles a rat. Many would consider Tasmanian devils small animals, their body length rarely exceeds 50 centimeters, and they weigh on average 8 kilograms. Because of their aggressive nature Tasmanian devils usually live alone, when meeting the enemy, they prefer to first try a psychological attack, make a loud scream. In addition, like the skunk Tasmanian devils are able to release into the enemy smelling secret. Their powerful jaws allow them to bite their victims' bones and even skulls. According to research, the huge head and neck of Tasmanian devils allow them to apply the strongest bite per unit body weight. Among all terrestrial predators, their jaws are strong enough to bite even metal traps. Despite the fact that Tasmanian devils look fat, they are very good at climbing trees and crossing rough rivers. They can run at high speed to catch their prey, and they are tough enough to run at 24 km per hour for an hour. The prey of these animals eats completely with the skin and the skeleton quickly. Their sense of smell allows them to feel the proximity of their prey from afar, and they do not squeal on decaying small animals. Gorillas Gorillas are usually seen as fierce, powerful, aggressive giants. Partly because of Hollywood movies, where they are often exhibited as real monsters, in reality, these apes in most cases lead a peaceful life, but about the size of the gorillas, movie school children are not mistaken. The height of an adult male is usually about 2 meters, and he can weigh up to 170 kilograms, not every branch and even a tree can withstand such a large animal, so most males live on the ground, the trees are not climbed, only in rare cases. For example, females are smaller and lighter than males almost twice behind younger leaves or fancying fruits and nuts. The size of gorilla muscles will envy any bodybuilder. An adult male is several times stronger than a human, his fangs reach a length of 5 centimeters, a greedy opponent is more than serious. Gorillas live in small groups consisting of the male leader, several females their offspring group leads a peaceful life. It is rare for males to fight. In case of an attack, the male is obliged to protect his family, and the females are obliged to protect their offspring and escape from the threat. First. The male tries to frighten the enemy by standing on his hind legs and straightening his height, roaring loudly and punches himself on the chest. If the attacker is frightened and decides to retreat, the male gorilla will not pursue him. However, if the threat to his family is real, the gorilla will fight to the end. Even such formidable predators as leopards do not risk contact with an angry male gorilla. When you meet gorillas in the wild, you can never run away immediately. The male will take this as the beginning of an attack. We advise you to freeze in place, stand on all fours and put your head down, it will mean a confirmation of your submission, it is quite enough for the male to calm down. Wolverines Wolverines are common in forests in northern Eurasia in Scandinavia and North America. These brave beasts are not afraid to fight for their prey with wolves, even bears. Wolverine is one of the rarest and most curious representatives of predatory mammals, the power of fearlessness, irrepressible appetite make Wolverine one of the most formidable hunters of the forest. Externally, Wolverines look quite funny like big badgers. Wolverine males and females are almost no different from each other. 
The animal can reach up to 1 meter in length, the tail often grows to 20 centimeters in length. On a small head there are small rounded ears, paws long, wide that outwardly creates a sense of imbalance of the eardrum, on the extremities of their structure allows the animal to freely get through the deep snow and even those ways where no lynx, no autumn, or wolves cannot pass. The animal moves awkwardly, but has incredible agility. Like wolverine bears, wolverines climb trees beautifully. Often wolverines interfere with hunters, scare away prey, destroy traps and eat small animals, and when they meet the hunters themselves can immediately engage in a battle for prey if necessary. Wolverines have almost no natural enemies, their fearlessness makes other predators avoid meeting them, and the caustic smell of the secret produced by wolverine allows wolves to smell them at a distance, after which they often turn away from the aggressive animal, but once the wolves gather large pack, as they immediately return to the wolverine. Wolverines are eager to avenge their lost prey, and in the event of a group attack by wolves, Wolverines deftly climb the trees and wait there until the pack is tired of washing over the enemy. Cassoyers Cassoyers are large non-flying birds that are introduced exclusively into the rainforests of New Guinea and Northeast Australia. Translated from Indonesian, the bird's name translates as, the horn head and indeed the almost naked blue head of this bird is protected by a kind of helmet, a wide pointed horn resembling a giant thorn. According to the Guinness Book of Records, the cassoyer is considered one of the most dangerous birds in the world. Indeed, despite its beautiful bright color and elegant habits, this bird better not be angry. The behavior of cassoyers is unpredictable, they often behave aggressively and attack first without any reason, such a bird can be proud of its big height. Sometimes the height of capoyers exceeds 180 centimeters, adults weigh on average about 60 kilograms. Once you get angry, the cassowar will immediately throw itself at you and strike with its powerful legs and long claws. Given the size of the bird, they are extremely dangerous not only for humans. The wound caused by caviar claws is often very serious. Baboons Baboons are often called the smartest primates for a reason. Of all the African monkeys, they are the ones that most often come into contact with humans. Most baboons live in Central and Eastern Africa. This social species simply cannot live alone. On average, baboons grow about 75 centimeters without counting the tail, which sometimes exceeds 60 centimeters in length. Baboons move with four paws and their tails are held high so that they can be seen from afar. In the wild, baboons are best not to be messed with, they are not afraid to attack even such dangerous predators as leopards, hyenas, jackals and lions. Considering that baboons attack quickly, fight desperately and altogether it is difficult to resist against them. Thanks to iron discipline inside the pack, baboons fight with a single front and even often show a certain battle strategy. Do not be afraid of a baboon, even people at the first opportunity they come into contact to spit out or steal a delicacy you like. The animal constantly travels through the territory in search of food. Their diet is very similar to ours, and so do baboons eat everything they can digest, berries, root vegetables, fish and meat. All these products are part of their daily menu. As the tourist season begins, whole crowds of baboons leave for the cities cleaning up dumps, parking lots, cafes and hotels. Moreover, during their thieves' raids, baboons are not afraid of attacking people as well if they get in the way. Doctors consider the bites of these animals extremely dangerous. Often baboons are carriers of infections. Giant Ants In the rainforests and savannas of Central and South America there is an amazing living creature covered in thick hard fur with a narrow elongated muzzle, incredibly long and flexible tongue, small eyes, long fluffy tail. It's a giant anteater. Its body length from nose to tail can exceed 120 centimeters, and its adult weight exceeds 30-40 kilograms. Feeding an anteater as you probably already guessed ants and termites, destroying the termite with his claws or an anthill he begins to eat. Ants eject 60 centimeters of tongue with a powerful sticky saliva with the frequency of more than 160 times a minute extracting a day about 30,000 insects. 
It has also recently been established that ants can also eat palm tree fruits, tearing the flesh with sharp claws, thus obtaining moisture and vitamin. Although an anteater appears peacefully harmless, the first impression is deceptive, even large predators prefer to avoid meeting an enraged anteater. In case of direct threat, he rarely avoids a fight. His long claws can cause considerable damage to the enemy, sometimes even fatal. In addition to humans, only cougars and jaguars pose a threat to the giant anteater, but they usually prefer not to get involved with it for fear of terrible claws. All species of anteaters are little fertile by nature, very dependent on specific sources of food, so these animals have difficulty restoring their numbers in places where they are exterminated. The locals have always hunted these animals for meat, so the giant anteater is already listed in the Red Book as being in danger. However, the greatest danger for them is not hunters, but the destruction of natural habitats. Now, in Argentina, they've disappeared wherever there are human settlements. In Brazil, they are rare, but in Paraguay they are quite common. Ants are rare in zoos, perhaps because of the low public interest in a little-known animal, and comment on whether you think you could stay with them one-on-one, -on -one, but if you were interested, put up a like, subscribe to the channel and turn the bell on so you don't miss new videos. Thank you for watching it, and also watch the previous videos.